Today, I want to go over how schemas are a powerful tool for data quality in data pipelines, write schema and read schema, and when you would want to separate them. Let's begin. First of all, schemas are a powerful tool for data quality. When reading and writing data, it's important to check every document against its schema. This guarantees your collections hold only clean data and that bugs and invalid documents are caught before they can impact downstream data products. In most cases, you would want to capture all of your data from the source without restricting what gets captured, so you would want the schema to be permissive. But in some cases, you may want to impose different constraints to data that is being written to the collection and data that is being read from the collection. This is when you might want to have a write schema and a read schema. For example, you may need to start capturing data now from a source system, say a PubSub system with short-lived historical data support or an HTTP endpoint, but you don't know or don't control the endpoint schema. You can capture the data with a permissive write schema and impose a stricter read schema on the data as you need to perform a derivation or materialization. You can safely experiment with the read schema at your convenience, knowing all the data has already been captured. The data captured can sit for months, many, many months, or even years, many, many years, before you decide what to do with it and where to materialize it to. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming content on how to start or build a career in tech, how to automate using low code RPA how to build real-time, low-code data pipelines and other tech content.